I urge the Council to deal with the full range of women's rights violations during conflict. The mandates of political and peacekeeping missions should support national prosecutions for serious international crimes against women and special measures should be taken to provide women with opportunities to engage in the design and delivery of transitional justice. A human rights-based approach is crucial to successfully address the root causes of conflict and threats to women's security. It is also crucial to seize the opportunity offered by transitions. These include transforming gender relations, dismantling negative gender stereotypes, reforming legislation that discriminates against women, supporting women's autonomy in private and public spaces, and eventually building just and equal societies where peace and development can prosper. Since the approval of 1325, 13 years ago, the international community has agreed on the direction that we want to move. As we continue to go forward, let us confront honestly the obstacles that remain before us. Let's create a spin-free zone on 1325 and its implementation, and let's not conflate effort with results. They are different. Let us instead take concrete steps so that women share fully in efforts to avoid and contain conflict, just as they inevitably share in the suffering when such efforts are poorly designed or when they fail. Uh, Mr. President, Australia obviously well